guys, it's Ken. How you doing? Good morning on a crisp, cool, 60 degree morning here in New York. We're here at A&S Bagels. We get some bagels to take back to the house. And right behind me is where they make the bagels. Right here. I guarantee when we get back to Orlando and wake up in the morning, it won't be crisp and cool. And certainly it won't be 60 degrees. So we'll take all this in while we can now. And now from bagels to scones. Went to the movies last night at that very old movie theater, Bowtie Cinemas, and saw Rocket Man, the Elton John story. It's very good. I'm going to try and sneak across the street here and check out these beautiful robins. Oh, there's a blue jay right behind this tree trunk. There's so many birds. And I love the squirrels in this part of the country. Not at all like the squirrels we have in Florida. They're a little hardier. A little fluffier. There's one of those robins right there. Let's see how close I can get. I love the color of this tree. I was told that this home right here with the wheelchair ramp is abandoned. The story is the owner passed away and they abandoned the home. And then a pipe burst in the basement and the water went all the way up to the second floor here. It was spilling out onto the outside. I think it's all shut up, closed up. It's a shame, nice old house. You can't see what's inside. However, the owner's roses are still in bloom. I'm sure these roses were important to the person who used to live here as her home, their home, sits abandoned. I thought it was worth coming by to check out their roses. After breakfast, it's such a beautiful day, go burn off some of those calories and explore downtown Floral Park with a little walk with these guys. Here in front of the Stewart Manor Fire Department, we are in the village of Stewart Manor. It says they're incorporated in 1927 is a 9-11 tribute. In memory of the uniformed emergency workers who heroically gave their lives while trying to save the lives of others. September 11th, 2001. My little stop right there made me run a little bit behind. So I'm really gonna have to hoof it to catch up. I spent some time here at Jack Walsh's Irish Pub the other day. I'll insert that little footage right here. Hey, check this out. There's a hidden Mickey in my Guinness. Is there really anything more iconic than watching a Mets versus Yankees game in an Irish pub in New York enjoying a Guinness? I don't think so. Oh. And the next one is on the house. Stopped off here at the local Carvel store. 
They're getting shakes and ice cream. I just got a dairy-free pink grapefruit sorbet. They also have tangerine and raspberry. I figured since it isn't hot yet, no risk of this melting too quickly, I got a cone. Get away the book. The book. The book. The book. I gotta figure out how to chop up the sections. I think that's I my biggest struggle. It is smart. That's the I got all the. I, yeah, it did. Now a quick walk through one of our favorite shops here called Raindew. It's kind of a store that has pretty much everything you might ever need. Two giant walls of as seen on TV. Ready for summer. Lunch boxes. See, we did find something we can't live without. Classic. Going home to the dogs. Look at all these fun socks. Strawberries. Sundays, hearts, flowers, tacos, cats. Look at these blouses. I'm guessing they're nightgowns. Not my style though. A lot of sweatpants. More socks. Bathing suits. They still have Lego movie minifigures. And a bunch of Harry Potter minifigures. I have not seen these yet. Close the street off and the news trucks with you. Is he still serving? Yeah. Somebody wrote my name in the sidewalk. Of all the trees in bloom I've seen so far, I think this was my favorite. What is this what is this called? What is this tree called? This one? That one. I downloaded an app that recognizes flowers. I'm sorry, this tree is. Oh. We're next. 